Hi everyone, it's Will here. I'm an illustrator and a character designer. I really love creating characters. So each month there is a challenge, character design challenge with the team. And for March 2024, it was Animal Ruxia Hero. So as a big fan of Kung Fu Panda movies, I can't let it go. I've got not one, but two and three art books from the past movies. I really love them. I love the, all the art inside. So I jump into this new team and create my own dragon warrior. There is a number four uh, coming to theaters. Uh, I can't wait to watch it. I hope you enjoyed the movie if you already did and today in the video I will show you how I created my character for this incredible and inspiring team. So I hope you will enjoy the video and see you at the end. Well, uh, when I started to create a character I grabbed some references then I draw on top of it to really understand them and when it's about animals I try to study them and then I can explore my character so as you can see I'm trying some poses some faces and I try to play it with geometric um, shapes but the most important things with um, an anthropomorphic character is to reference the animal you want to draw and give them some personalities. So this is what I'm trying to do with the lineup to test different personality and animal features. So for the painter, uh, I uh, to maintain her uh, body proportions, colors, and attributes. So, this is the kind of thing I did with the, with the character. Then, uh, to be sure my design is good and the shape is great, not just on the face front uh, pose, I need to explore some poses. So I had some uh, Kung Fu references um, on my laptop and I try to draw as many as I can to explore how my character acts and to understand her personality. Then when the body is right, I tried some expressions and hands for this to better understand what I want to, to draw. The next step is to set the environment where my um, character will grow. So for this one, I wanted just a kind of um, calm moment of training station of Kung Fu uh, with a cool color palette to complete the of the character so this is the the process to uh, really capture this uh, feeling and I want something um, quite saturated because I want the whole piece be good feeling when the background is set I try different poses but um, here you can find only the the final one and I wanted something pretty um, calm and uh, a peaceful moment for this character like um, a training before fury of fighting um, so I wanted to really balance the shape of her body with this pretty long tail and her legs to really capture how the character can take his mind to, to be grounded. Well, 
when the character is okay, I refine the background sketches because I just uh, color dropped it. And then I rendered it element by element. I wanted something pretty minimal and simple because the main focus is the character for the challenge. So I didn't want to bring a lot of information uh, in the background, just quite a few to really understand where my character is evolving. I really had uh, a piece from um, Raymond Zibach uh, in mind for this one, uh, kind of a concept art from Kung Fu Panda 2 and hold um, Chinese painting for, for the background with a kind of watercolor um, effect. Then uh, when the background is done, I need to put my character in it. So I'm starting to blocking shapes, adding patterns and texture to to each materials and different colors. Um, with my animal choices, to better understand it, I needed to really um, capture her pattern, so I decided to uh, create a pattern for the clothes with the initial pattern of the skin of the real animal. And I'm starting to had color variation to the character to make it feel um, grounded in the background uh, like it, it belongs to the same uh, moment so I decided where my lighting was and I started to add shadows, ambient occlusion to uh, add a um, kind of 3D effect following the um, creative direction of the 3D movies as DreamWorks like um, like if this character could uh, be taken from the movie and just existing here in my uh, minimalistic background so I'm trying to focus on details add color variation to the shadows and then um, adding some lights um, to the whole piece to really unify uh, the background and the character. Uh, I really like adding some rim lights, it really brings the characters to life while uh, with a grounded shadow to, to the ground um, having the, the, the dark shadow on the, on the rock. Then I'm tweaking some lights and it's quite, um, it's quite done doing some final touches, taking values and rearrange the, the waterfalls. So uh, this is the final piece. I really like the character and the story I imagine behind it being some fierce and cool but pretty calm um, character. She's uh, a far line with a leopard uh, clouded nature, but um, she's kind of pretty, pretty cool and I really like this balanced pose uh, to, to show her calm personality in these cool colors. Well, thank you for watching the video. I hope you really enjoy to see my process behind this character because I really enjoy creating it. So maybe it will be an extra character for a future Kung Fu Panda movie. We'll see. I don't know if I will win this character challenge um, or be in an honorable mention, but I really appreciate the, the result. So I hope you are too and I hope you feel the dragon warrior in yourself and feel free to put a like, a comment and subscribe to my channel for future videos. 
So see you in the next video. Bye.